Hi everyone. I uh, just wanted to have a uh, just a quick talk with you guys and share some thoughts that uh, came up a couple days ago when I was speaking to another client who was actually wanting to postpone their campaign and wait until next year to start marketing for their lawn care season. And um, it's uh, something that uh, I realize a lot of people don't know is that the amount of time that it takes, not just to produce the work, but the amount of time it takes for search engines and websites and all your marketing efforts to come into play online. And let me give you, let me give you a couple of examples. For instance, if you, have a, if you have a brand new website and you want to use organic search engine optimization to, to rank high in organic listings, these are the, the not pay-per-click listings, these are not the local listings, and you want to use SEO to do that, you have a brand new website, well, you can set up your website Get it all optimized, get in great content, but it's not going to show up in the top 10 immediately. It's going to take months, it's going to take quite a bit of work, and if it's a brand new site, it's going to be very tricky to get that in the top 10 in a short period of time. That's why you really need to do your online marketing efforts. It's something that you have to plan ahead. You need to do it in advance, especially when you have a seasonal business. Uh, it's not something that you want to procrastinate on. If your lawn care season is starting at the beginning of March, you need to be starting your online marketing now. You need to start it now. I, 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 can't, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've said that. Online marketing is not something that you want to procrastinate. The more you procrastinate, the further behind you're going to be, and you will not be ready for next season. So very important, don't procrastinate on it. It takes a long time for you to show up in the listings. Uh, and this has to do with Google's al algorithm. This is one of the ways that they try and keep spammers out of the top 10 results. They can see a brand new site come up, get a ton of links to it, and it pops up in the top 10 rankings, but it's a spam site. Right? It's selling, selling spyware or junk or whatever. You want to plan these things in advance. Get your site up, running, optimized, and have it slowly rise through the index. That's the best way to do it. That's what you need to do, but you need to start in, in advance and do it now. But this isn't just SEO that it's important. If, you're, if your strategy revolves specifically, exclusively around local listings, you need to do that now as well. That will take you a good two months or more to get up there in the position that you want for your key phrases uh, in the city where your address is for your local listings. So you need to start that now. And keep in mind, there's a, uh, there's a couple of different factors that, uh, that uh, affect where you are ranked in your local listing. There's, there's, a hundred, there's hundreds actually, but uh, some of the important ones are reviews, uh, the number of citations you have, which means Google Local wants to see that you have a bunch of other business listings and other directories with the same address and the exact same info. And that's how it determines whether or not you have a legitimate listing and that it can deem credible and display next to other businesses. Um, so keep that in mind. That's another thing to keep in mind. Um, and like I also mentioned, you need reviews. You've got to have reviews. Um, and that's not something that you can do overnight. That's not something that you can do in a week. It's something that takes time, and that's another thing that you need to start now. So you got to get your reviews, you got to get your citations, and you have to keep all this in mind that it's going to take a while for Google to get you up there. It's not instantaneous. The only thing that is instantaneous is pay-per-click. Pay-per-click, uh, it can be pretty expensive to run a campaign. Uh, a lot of my small budget clients don't. They avoid it. My, my higher budget clients um, do really well at it. And um, pay-per-click is... One of the three things, the only three things that you can set up and have it running and start getting leads today. Problem is it's expensive. Uh, not everybody can afford it for their market. And um, it does take some time to configure and set up. Um, you know, it'll take you a day to set it up, uh, to really set up a ton of different ads, to really split, split test them thoroughly, to really do thorough key phrase research and to really craft some ads that really talk to those, market, those markets or your, your target audience for 
depending on where your ad is running and who you're trying to target specifically. So in that sense, it's not completely in instantaneous. It is something that you need to plan in advance. It's something that you do need to put in um, some work to get your ads up and running and have them ready for the first day season starts. And, uh, you know, when you're putting out, when it's time to put out door mailers, if you're not already running a pay-per-click pay -per -click campaign, you should be running it by then. And um, so that's, that's the three, that's three of our, our main uh, strategies that I just wanted to touch on and, and just tell you that you really need to be thinking about these things now. Um, if your lawn care season starts at the end of February, March, you've got to start before Christmas. If you don't start before Christmas, you're going to be at a disadvantage before season starts. So get started now. I just wanted to put in my two cents. Um, good luck and uh, get started, get to work. Please keep the questions coming. I'm getting some great questions. Please send more. Thanks.